Hi guys, it's Marky. How's it going, guys? I got a new batch of uh, Hot Wheels cars. A bunch of Hot Wheels diecast cars from PKs. Been searching for these for a while. The Dodge Viper SRT 10 ACR. This one's from the Then and Now series. Cars from the present and the past. And there's going to be five pairs. So there's 10 cars, five pairs. There's the graphics on the card for the Viper. Looking so cool. With the Hot Wheels team colors. The nice blue. And there's the uh, beautiful colors on the side there with the lightning. And we have the Hot Wheels logo right there over the door. And the Dodge name. It looks so, so good. It's got that nice uh, white stripe on the bottom. And it just looks amazing. Pretty nice wing in the back. And check out the tampa work on the hood there. It looks so good. Very, very nice. Orange, yellow, and then the black. And we do have those really nice tampered in lights. Let's get a little closer on the front end there. Uh, it looks so, so cool. Check out the white grill showing through. Little bit of the white showing through. And we do have the, uh, the nice spoiler in white on the bottom here. Very nice. A really cool red chrome stripe on the black blacked out uh, wheels the dodge name in white over here which looks great and then that white stripe looks awesome we do have a nice uh, plastic white base with a die cast body and a blue tint to the windows very cool no no side view mirrors we do have some fat tires check it out on the back smaller ones in the front and there's the name on the bottom the dodge viper srt 10 acr Made in Malaysia, copyright Mattel. I don't see the year for the copyright, which is unusual. Here's the Hot Wheels logo over here. But yeah, anyhow, I don't see the uh, the year for the copyright on there. It does say LLC 2022 over here. Very, very nice. Really cool. This is that blue translucent color they have, not the metallic. But it looks really, really awesome. Look at that. What a light, uh, nice uh, long front end on this car. Very cool. Again, these all come from PK. So you see the P back here on the back of the card. That'll show you that it's from PK. It's the last letter. Mod Rod. Very nice. Very nice. Look at the Mod Rod in this new color. This is a recolor. Now the Viper, I don't know if I have that same Viper in my collection or not. I don't know, for some reason it looks different. Maybe it's just the color. And this is already grabbing garbage from the air. <laughs> I gotta like clean them as they come out of the package. Sometimes they come a little, a little filthy from the factory. Look at that, big tall tires in the back. They're not so fat, just a little, little taller than the front. And then it has the uh, black five spokes on there that look like stars, very cool. And a nice stripe on the top here. Now, what is the color? This is kind of like a grayish, greenish color. What do you call this? A green gray? Or just a light green? Very light green? A pale light green, I guess you can call it too. Number 56 on the door. So cool. The Mod Rod. It's a fantasy car. A nice hot rod. And what series does this car come from? Rod Squad Series, that makes sense. Rod Squad Series, two of five in the series. And the number for the year is 168. Very cool. The Mod Rod has been out in a lot of different colors. I have the red one. And I have, a, I don't know, I have a bunch of colors. I can't remember all the colors, but it's a pretty cool, pretty cool car. Something like you might see at a classic car show or a hot rod show or at the races or something like that. Very, very cool. I love that chop top look. Very nice. Check out the exhaust on the sides. It actually looks really good in this color with the black stripe and the other extra little cream color there around the 56 and around the black. Hot Wheels logo in that creamy color. Very cool. It's got a chrome interior. See the sunroof on top? And you can see two seats in there. So it's a nice two seater. Incredible pipes sticking out the sides there very cool see how he looks when he rolls down the street or down the track getting ready <laughs> so nice very cool happy to get this one and the viper 
And I found a bunch more. Here's the Electrac in purple. This one's been out in a few uh, different colors. There's the uh, graphics. You can see the driver in there. Let's see if we have a driver in this one. I don't think so, no. I just see the steering wheel. And this one comes from the X Racers Series 205 in the X Racer Series number 149 for the year. And the X Racers have the clear see through body and the see through, uh, see -through wheels. And it changes up sometimes, but most of the time they'll have a see through tire. Not see through wheel, but see through tire. And I guess you can see through some of there. And that is so cool. It does have the X here for the X Racer series. Big X in the front and a little one there. Really cool Hot Wheels logo all the way in the back. The color is amazing with the combo of the uh, pink base with the purple body and then the, the clear fenders. That looks so, so cool. I don't know if this one comes out in the uh, Hot Wheels games, but it could be that they use this in the Hot Wheels games. I don't know. There's a lot of video games that... Hot Wheels video games that have different uh, cars that we see in the main line. So that's pretty cool. I don't have any of the games, but I've seen some people playing them. So it's pretty cool. You can find people playing them on uh, on YouTube. Yeah. So pretty cool. This is a really nice uh, X Racer. And again, the name of this one, I forget already. The Ele Electrac. <laughs> Stamped R26 down there. And I'll copyright 2017. So it's been out in a bunch of colors already. You can see the tail in the back. And there he is. What a nice uh, Hot Wheels right there. Really cool. Here's another X Racers. This one's new for 2022. A new casting. First time I ever see it. New for 2022, 2022 from uh, P-Case. What is it called? The Turbine Sublime. This one actually, I just remembered. This one came out earlier this year. Of course, it is new for 2022, but... This is the second color for the year. It came out earlier in a different color because I do have the Turbine Sublime in a different color. And it is a new one for 2022, a new casting. And pretty cool, X-Racer series. It's a totally see-through body. You can see it's all clear on top here. And a lot of nice uh, orange details going on, orange and yellow. So the metal base and then the plastic body is what's happening here. We have the uh, Turbine Sublime, made in Malaysia, copyright 2021. Of course, they stamped them the year before. Most of the time, we did see one yesterday in yesterday's video where they stamped it 2022 already. But um, yeah, the new uh, the new ones will, will be stamped from the year before. It looks like it has a spoiler that moves up and down. Oh yeah, it does. It clicks in place. So that must be the special feature that they're referring to right here. Let's see. There it is, the spoiler. And then you see the P right there for P-Case. Turbine Sublime, born 2021 in Segundo, California, and designed by Hot Wheels. Really cool. Very, very nice. The uh, graphics on the card are, are pretty nice, too. Very colorful with all that orange and yellow going on. I love that it has a driver. I wish it had a little driver in there, but they didn't... Uh, they didn't... Uh, <laughs> they didn't give us a driver. These almost look like oranges, right? Because they're orange, and then they have the... What looks like the little compartments that oranges have when you slice them open. I call these pizza slices or flower wheels, either one. I like saying pizza slices because one of my favorite foods. Just because, just because. Wow, so these are pretty nice. A couple of X Racers. Look at that. If you're a fan of the X Racers, um, they do have the five packs that come with a bunch of X Racers, but this is pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. I can see a race happening already. Wow, it would be great to uh, race these right now. But uh, yeah, I haven't had good luck uh, racing cars on the track and filming them because it's so hard to uh, film them. They, they're they so fast. I mean, Hot Wheels are so fast that you can hardly see what's going on when you film them. You have to like slow, slow the film down. It's just very, very much a hassle to film. But uh, here we go. Here's La, Fa La Fasta. I do have this one in other colors. And uh, this one... That's pretty cool colors. Also with the orange tires. Look at that. Fat tires in the back. And uh, let's check out the graphics on the card real quick before uh take a look at the car. Speed Team. That's nice. Speed Team Series. You can see right here. 
And wow, look at that, jumping a ramp. That's pretty cool, ramp to ramp. I like that. Number 305, best for track. That means this one does pretty good on the track. La Fasta. The name implies it. It's a fast one. La Fasta. <laughs> this one was out in brown and many other colors. I think I had, there's a brown and yellow combination. Chrome interior. Wow, look at that. Pre pretty uh, nice uh, clear top. Kind of fits in with the X-Racers. Doesn't have... Uh, it's not part of that series, but kind of fits in with them. It's got the four pipes in the back. That looks really cool. I love the fat tires in the back. And the fact that they're orange... Pretty cool combo with this uh, nice uh, light blue and then the uh, orange and yellow stripes. We got a black stripe that matches well with the wheels. We have some trim in black on the bottom here and the base in black as well. And nice uh, black wheels. Very, very nice. Very, very nice combo of colors. I like that. Chrome interior, which is kind of crazy, but hey, chrome interior car. What can you say? We do have wipers on there. No, uh, winch, uh, no mirrors on the side. But very cool, very cool looking interior, I gotta say. Look at that. That looks pretty awesome. I don't know if you can see. Let me try and get closer. Kind of hard to tell, but it looks pretty interesting in there. <laughs> I would like to sit in there and just to, to see what it feels like to be in a chrome interior car. Chrome steering wheel, chrome dashboard. Everything is chrome in there. <laughs> pretty cool, the Fasta. So these five are from... P case, and I'm gonna do uh, what well, I'm gonna keep showing you some of the cars that I have amassed or are part of my collection um, that I haven't shown in a while. Check this out. Got this one in red, the Liberty Walk, the Nissan 35 GT RR version 2, Liberty Walk Silhouette Works GT. So cool. Long name, lots going on with this one. Beautiful mirrors on the sides. Very nice uh, lenses on there for the for the, uh, the lights in the front. The nice badge, GTR. So cool. Nice interior. It is a right side drive. And we do have a really nice wing in the back with some really nice uh, colors here for the lights in the back. See the little round lights and the badge, the GTR name right there. And the Hot Wheels logo right on the license plate. That is so cool. We do have the exhaust in the bottom. Two pipes on each side. What a beautiful Hot Wheels, copyright 2020. And this one was out in 2021 for the first time. It looks awesome. I do have the blue one as well. It just looks awesome. It does have this nice running board, pretty plain on the base. But what a beautiful Hot Wheels, right? Just thought I'd show you some more Hot Wheels. I only have uh, five new ones today, so might as well show you some more of my collection if you want to hang out and show a bunch of them here that I that I really love that are so so cool this is a nice one let me know if you have this one already in the red or did Joni get the blue one or are you still looking for it i know some people sometimes have a hard time finding them depends where you live and how often you go to the stores i think of course the more you go to the stores the more likely you can find something but some people have difficulty getting to the stores every day i know i understand totally understand i myself can't go every day so it's pretty hard to hunt every day for cars. But check this out. Isn't this nice? Nice, nice looking Honda. Where's the name? 98 Honda Prelude. This is such a nice combo. I love the uh, red and black. The black hood. So cool. Check out the pipe back here on one side with the two. Divided into two. That looks so cool. What a nice back end. Prelude. Beautiful lights. Nice badge. We do have that little wing back there. Very cool. Little antenna. Mirrors on the side. Windshield wipers. It just feels so complete, this car, right? You have the grill showing through, the lenses on the uh, lights there. And then the fog lights on the bottom. That looks so great. We do have those really nice wheels, 10 or 12 spokes on here. Two-door car, nice sunroof, just a beautiful Honda. I really like how it looks. It's just amazing looking. And uh, speaking of Hondas, I do have a little Honda right here. Remember this one, the N600? Honda N600, a little old one. This one goes back to like 1970, I think. Let's check out the base. Custom 70, yeah, Honda N600. Oh, I got all that right. <laughs> what a miracle. <laughs> Copyright 2020. And there's the exhaust right there on the right. Big fat pipe right there on the right. Hot Wheels logo right on the, on the license plate. And we see the little lights that light up the plate. Very cool. Honda name right there, right above the plate. And we do have the little lights. This one has a little damage to this temple right here. 
or the uh, light in the back. And it came like that. I didn't crash it. It came like that. Sometimes I do crash them and I mess them up, but not this one. So I did buy an extra one. I don't think I even opened the extra one yet, but I do have one that I bought extra after I saw that light like that. Now this up here, I don't know what it is. Is that an antenna? What is that? Like maybe an antenna. And then here are the, the uh, windshield wipers right there. Only one mirror on this car. One on the left side right there where the driver is. No mirror on the right. It's a 1970 car. Look at these little, little tiny tires and tiny little wheels. They look so small. Wow. So, so small. <laughs> Pretty cool little car. It has a really nice interior. Tall bucket seats in there. It looks like the uh, the driver has a special seat or something, like if they changed it out or something. I don't know if it was made like that with a more comfortable seat for the driver, maybe. It does have a big support beam in there. But a really cool N600. I love it. This one's really nice. I do have the, the uh, white one as well. And I can't remember if there's any others. Um, this is a pretty recent model. Let me see, casting. Uh, 2020 is a copyright, so it's been out since 2021. I know there's two different colors of it, the white and this one. There might be others, who knows. And check this out, the Lightning in red. This is not the premium. This is just a regular mainline. I do have the premium one I was showing the other day. This is not the premium. This one is just a regular mainline. Came out in red as well. Nice uh, color. You can tell the difference by the base. It's plastic, not like the uh, premium. That costs a little more. Comes with a metal base. And rubber tires. This one just has the plastic tires, which I think are faster than the rubber on the track. Much faster. Look at that. You can't even see the. <laughs> you just tap him and he flies. Can't even see him. Mirrors on the side. We have some nice windshield wipers. Beautiful lights in the front. Just the, all the detail in the front is great. Really, really great. What a nice. Uh, what a nice Ford Lightning. I just saw one of these on the road, and I was like, oh wow, look at that, a Lightning. I have that one at home, <laughs> the F-150 SBT Lightning. Wow, it's a beauty. It looks good in this color. It also looks good in the gold, and I do have it right here, the gold one. Look at this, I got a pair. The nice gold one. They do have the same wheels, pretty cool. And there's the back end for both of them. Pretty, pretty nice, nice to have both. Isn't that cool? And the red and gold, of course, matches. Kind of looks like Christmassy, uh, Christmassy colors. A little Christmas in the air already. Could it be? We're not even uh, a few weeks away from Halloween still. <laughs> but uh, I'm seeing Christmas stuff in the stores already, guys. Can you believe that? Here in, in the USA, they're already selling Christmas items. Check out this Mustang. Nice Mustang. I do have the purple one as well, but this is the black one. The black version with the gray wheels. Yellow stripes and gray stripes, gray interior, all blacked out in the front, blacked out in the back. What a beauty, a really nice Mustang. This one is marked copyright 2010 Mattel, the 67 Ford Mustang GT. And there are the details for the exhaust. Pipes go towards the side, right behind the door. What a beauty, the 67 Ford. Big fat tires in the back, look at that. Smaller ones in the front. Awesome, just like they looked back then. Beautiful. This is a really nice Mustang. You see these in the movies or at car shows. 67 Mustang. Wow. It's been a long time, Mustang. You've been around for a while. <laughs> Very cool Mustang. And here's a little grocery getter or family car. The Volvo 850 Estate in yellow. Look at that. Nice chrome 12 or 10 spokes. Right side drive, we do have the mirrors on the side. Very nice, a lot of nice details in the front, as you can see. It looks amazing. This one looks so good. This one's been out in a lot of colors. It seems to be pretty popular. They sell out pretty fast in my area when a new uh, Volvo color comes out. And uh, they don't last long, they disappear. Pretty, pretty nice. I love it in the yellow, it looks good. I like the red one, I like the blue one. There's so many. The blue one has the race, blue and silver. And recently I just got the new black one. That's the the latest one is the black one, which looks really good as well. But this one really pops on the camera. And check this out. Another cool car in my collection, the Skyline. Let me know if you have this one. A lot of people love this one, so a lot of people have it. Uh, if you've been collecting for a while, there it is. Check out the pipes there on the side. GTR, Skyline, 
And I, be, I believe this one is from QCase of 2021. So this one's uh, pretty much a year old already. Because it came out at the end of 2021. QCase is the last case for the year. And we're about to get QCase if it hasn't arrived already and I missed it. Uh, but QCase should be hitting the shelves pretty soon in my area. The last case was P case, the cars that I was showing you earlier, all, all from P case. But what a nice skyline. Look at that. It's a right side drive, no mirrors on the side, a really cool color, nice grill in the front. I love the uh, spoiler and the chrome with the uh, bumper and chrome. And the chrome on the back here on the bottom. So nice. So nice. Very cool. Plastic chrome base. Blue uh, stripe, I mean, black stripes on the bottom there with the uh, skyline name and the Hot Wheels logo on the door. Very cool. Very nice. It's a beauty. Nice Nissan right there. And then look at this. Ah, Ford with these beautiful race cars. What a great job they've done with these uh, race cars. This looks like a Ford uh, GT, the 2017 version, the 2017 Ford GT. Look at that. Number four in gold on the door and then black on the top, which is kind of cool. It's got the uh, metallic black. You see the silver flakes in there. Very, very nice. A lot of details. Look at the lights in the front, the stripes, the Ford badge, windshield wipers, no mirrors, double spoke uh, white wheels. Very cool. Big fat tires in the back. Look at that. And this is so nice right here, the way they designed this. So cool. Look at that. What a beauty. 2017 Ford GT. Nice. Copyright 2015 on this one by Mattel. Very cool car. Here's another nice car. Look at this blue color for the IROC Z. Now, I do have the red one as well, but this one just looks very good in the uh, metallic blue. I love the red one too. It's the red translucent, not metallic. And they look so good together. I don't have it handy, the red one, but here's the blue one with the uh, lighter color stripe. IROC Z, the Z28. What year is this uh, Z? Well, it's copyright, copyrighted uh, 2011, and they didn't put the year on there or the name. Made in Malaysia. That's very unusual that they don't name a car underneath. But it does have the name on, this, on the side, so we know it's a... Uh, IROC Z, Z28. Check out the vents in plastic on the hood there. Really nice dark interior, tall bucket seats, left side drive, no mirrors on the side, no windshield wipers, I don't think. Very cool. The fat stripe that goes all the way to the back on this one. And you see a little tail back here. Nice little uh, tail there. Very cool lines on this car. Very, very nice. I'm loving it. I think it's a really nice uh, Hot Wheels right there. Let's see how he looks next to the Mustang. Yeah, I could I could see these racing, right? <laughs> I could see them racing black and yellow. Let's go and bring a yellow and black uh, Hot Wheels out. Check it out. Wow, let me uh, fix the focus a little bit off there. There we go. And I'll bring it back in. Very cool. BF Goodridge. Goodrich Hot Wheels logo in the back, gray wheels, big fat rugged tires, the Chevy Silverado in yellow with a black stripe. Very cool. Two door, we do have the gate in the back, the lights are there, plastic bumper, plastic grill in the front, plastic lights, but so cool. No mirrors on the side, we do have the windshield wipers, but it is, it's a, a really nice looking Hot Wheels, look at that. That looks amazing. What is that, a scratch? Wow. I get so much dust in, uh, attracted to these, uh, these cars. Much <laughs> They attract dust like crazy. And, uh, man, it looks so good. What a nice uh, truck. And I have another truck here. Check this one out. Nice green color for this one with the red stripe. Focusing on there. Look at those wheels with the red stripe. Ford badge all the way back here. Very cool logo. Hot Wheels logo on the door. Ford Performance, and this one says 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor. Have this one in a few different colors as well. These are so awesome, both of them. I have both of them in different colors. I think I have this one in the black and white. And this one, the Raptor, I think I have like a red one, probably a blue one. 
possibly a black and a black one. I'm not sure. There's a bunch of them. There's a brown one, I think. Well, a bunch of Raptors out. I think, I think, if I'm not confusing it with the uh, with the uh, Dodge Ram, I don't know. But uh, very cool, very cool. Look at that. Looks like uh, Silverado's a little taller, I think. You can see it's lift a little long, uh, taller, a little higher lift on the uh, Silverado. Very cool. Though. Very cool. Let's place him like that. That looks like a cool race right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's see, what do we have here? Ah, check it out. Nice truck. This is a really cool race truck right here. It's a fantasy, but it's just awesome. It looks almost like a realistic uh, custom. X Racer series. You can see the see-through body. It does say X Racers up here, and there's the X. And you can see right through the body. However, the tires are not not see-through on this one. They changed it up. This one's a Draft Nader. Draft Nader fantasy car designed by Hot Wheels. Look at that pink stripe on the wheel. That looks so cool. It's kind of like a. I think it's pink, and then the pink against the blue looks really awesome. Looks more purple here, but I think. It, Depending on how the, the light hits it, looks you can tell that it's pink. And then the light blue Hot Wheels design there. It looks awesome. Really cool truck. The exhaust is right behind the uh, door. That's the exhaust right there. Made in Malaysia. And here's another blue car. That's pretty nice. 1970 Camaro. It's got the fat tires in the back. Oh, not as fat as the other ones we were seeing. The 70 Camaro. Made in Malaysia. Copyright 2020. This one... Has that big number 70 on the door for the year it was born. But taller tires, definitely taller in the back with that chrome stripe around the edge there. Then we have the left side drive, no mirrors on the side. A really cool Camaro though. This one has the blue translucent, not the metallic, it's the translucent color. Looks really awesome. Blue interior as well. Kind of like that uh, Firebird that Matchbox put out with the blue interior. Kind of looks at, like that blue interior. Except for the color on the uh, Matchbox, I think it's a little lighter than this one. And it's a Firebird. This is a Camaro 1970. Very, very nice. Hope you guys uh, like that Camaro there. And check this out. There's another Q-Case car from 2021. The red Land Rover. A lot of nice uh, things happening on this one. Look at the uh, di uh, wipers there. All the little names. The 81. On the door and the front, Range Rover. Look at that, Range Rover, Range Rover uh, Classic written right on the plate. Big uh, windshield wiper back here. Got the little light or sunroof, moonroof up there. Little corner windows. When windows are rolled down, it is a right side drive. And we do have the little mirrors on the side. Range Rover Classic, copyright 2021. And it's funny that it has that copyright because it came out. Uh, Q case of 2021 so it's a year old already can't believe you've been around for a year you feel like a new vehicle to me still still feels like a new one and we do have the green I mean the gray the green the gray uh, details on the wheels very cool the stripe and the star in there the spokes looking really cool nice front end in plastic plastic bumper on the bottom and a little bit of detail here and right here for the exhaust very nice. That's a cool one. Here's another cool um, old school muscle car, can we say? Is this a muscle car? Maybe not, but it's a Trans Am, kind of. Hotbird Trans Am says it right there on the side. Let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit right there. Trans Am right there. And I think up here. Yeah, right there. You can see it says it right there. Trans Am. Isn't that cool? Gold uh, stripe on the wheel. Taller tires in the back. Not too fat. About the same size as the front. We have the hopper right on the on the hood there with the scoop and the gold details. Oh man, so cool. Too bad we don't have the license plate or the colors there. It would look so much better. With a little more detail there. A little color. The front end looks pretty cool. The black, blacked out uh, lights there in the grill looks pretty nice. T-tops are taken off, so it looks really cool, all open, ready for summertime. Such a cool car. It looks good in this color. Reminds me of the Smokey and the Bandit movie. And uh, here's the Audi. 
Audi wagon in the silver, metallic silver. This one is a glossy color. It's a glossy silver, not the matte. It does have a nice gloss, a nice shine to it. Very, very shiny, metallic color, left side drive. Mirrors on the side, four door car. It does have the windshield wiper on the back window and the nice uh, wing back here. Nice details on the lights, the Audi badge. Hard to see with that uh, gray on gray or silver on silver. Look at the chrome on the wheels. Nice, very shiny. Cool, very cool uh, looking Audi. The 94 Audi Avant RS2. Wow, I love it. it. Looks so nice. I have the blue one, which looks really cool. And now you can get the new one. It's a super treasure hunt um, available now. Uh, they also have a regular one in the, in the line. It's in black, but you can find those now. And here's a nice cool Hot Wheels with the number one on the side, the Diora. This one comes with a bicycle and a surfboard. Look at that. As you know, the first Diora came with two surfboards and then the Generation 2 also came with two surfboards. This is the Diora 3. It comes with a bicycle and a surfboard. Copyright 2018 on this one. Diora 3. The first one came out, came out in about 68 or 69. I can't remember right now, but it's an old one. It might be from the Sweet 16. The first 16 Hot Wheels ever made were no, are known as the Sweet 16. And here's another cool Hot Wheels, the Cobra in the translucent red. So awesome. Look at that. Recently in the blue color with the Hot Wheels uh, logos on it and everything. And you can just see Shelby Cobra right, stamped right under here. It's kind of hard to see actually with the, uh, the chrome base. But there are the pipes on the sides. And it has a nice weight to it. I mean the plastic base, but the uh, body does have a nice, uh, nice weight to it. Big tall tires on it. Very cool. I think it looks really, really nice in this color. It just It's just a really nice color for the Cobra right there. And, oh, wow, look at this nice Corvette in a metallic silver color. It looks like it's not the same as the Audi. It looks like it might be a little different. Let's see. Maybe it's the same. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit darker than the Audi, but a very similar color, a little darker. Corvette with the number four on the door, C8R. Very, very nice. Corvette C8R, copyright 2020, was out for the first time in 2021, last year. And I believe this is the very first one that ever came out. After this one, I think they came out with the uh, yellow one. And I don't remember. I think there's. I got the red one, which is a Target exclusive. Red edition. And uh, hmm, there might be another one. I think there's a red, white, and blue, which is a premium that I have. I think it's a C8R. I don't know think so but that's a nice corvette right there the number four on it and this one has been out recently in white here's the the uh, metallic silver version and i think this is the, ver the first one that came out this was a brand new casting for 2021 the aston martin v12 speeder i mean speedster i'm sorry and look at that nice chrome on the wheels double spokes mirrors on the side all open canopy up here Saying canopy like it's a plane, like an aircraft. The canopy. <laughs> and look at that. Nice uh, grill in the front. Beautiful lights. Nice badge. Wow, the Speedster. The V12. What a cool car. I mean, this is just like a race car, I think. That's what it looks like to me. It's a race car. But I don't know. I don't know if people buy this uh, car. Don't know much about the Speedster. I really have not looked into it. But uh, I have the new one. The new one is white. And uh, it's out now. You can find it at, in the stores, I think. You can still find it. All right, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed checking out some of the Hot Wheels in my collection. Of course, I have tons of Hot Wheels, so I have so many more. But a good little chunk of Hot Wheels here to show you today. And uh, if you enjoyed it, come back because I'll see you in the next one.